hello friends today i am going to show you how to convert a mysql database into ms sql database or if you have a script of mysql database then how can uh, convert this script into uh, ms sql database or ms sql scripts so before start converting the database we have to install uh, ms sql database and my uh, mysql database in our system or if you have both the, uh, both the database on a particular server then no problem so i have a bam server which have php my admin mysql database so here it is okay sorry <coughs> So this is my gem server and this is my PHP my admin my SQL database. Okay. And I have also uh, MS SQL 12 database server in my local local system. This is my MS SQL database server now for i need a third party tool to convert these um, mysql to ms sql or i have a script of mysql database so first of all we create a database and apply this script on that database on mysql database server okay so first of all I'm going to create a database on in my MS MySQL database server. So I create a database test data and create. So this is my database test data, and now I'm going to execute the whole script of MySQL script to create the tables and entries in that particular database okay okay so this is my whole script which have few uh, tables and entries now click on go to execute <coughs> okay executed now i have three tables in my database and uh, first table have 7600 entries and the second table is uh, 343 entries and third table is and 386 few entries here so now we need to convert this database mysql database into ms sql database so before doing conversion we need a odbc connector of mysql because we need a converter which is a third party tool and that tool requires the otbc convert uh, connector of the mysql so you can download the odbc uh, connector from the oracle that, uh, oracle websites and uh, from the google also so i'm going to install this um, uh, mysql connector odbc 5.1 so i have already installed the odbc connector so i'm going to cancel it uh, but you have to install it so i'm just click on the finish after installing the odbc connector go to the control panel 
to access the OTPC connector and then administrator administrative tools then here you get the OTPC data connector 64 bit and 32 bit so I have a 64 bit operating system so I ex run the 64 bit OTPC connector so I have already <coughs> A connection so I am going to delete it and create a new okay so just select the old 5.1 OTBC connector <coughs> now click the next give a name any name I am going to give the test data give the location of the server I have a local host if you are have the remote location on any IP location then you have to give the that particular IP here <coughs> select your database which you want to convert so this is the test data okay and now you need a third party tool to convert MySQL database to MSSQL. So you can download this tool from the description. I mentioned a link <coughs> uh, of uh, Google developer pages where you can download this tool freely. So just go to the des description and download this tool. And after download, uh, extract the GIF file and open it. Okay. Now double click on the mysql to ms sql converter this tool convert your whole database mysql database into ms sql database so first of all i have to connect the both database here so first of all i have to create a mysql ms sql sorry ms sql database after then mysql database so first of all i have to give a server name or where my server exists so my server on the localhost so i can provide here dot or at the localhost if your server on the particular ip then you have to provide here a particular ip after then you can use <coughs> server authentication or the windows authentication so i use the windows authentication and then connect okay so i successfully connected my ms sql database and uh, <coughs> now I can I have to create a database in my MS SQL so from my SQL database uh, data my SQL data can be easily uh, copied into particular database in MS SQL so I create a database here let So this is my database blank database nothing is here and I select this database from the drop down once again I have to connect the database okay now the last entry is okay now I have to create uh, connect my mysql database so once again I have to give a server name so once again I have a localhost uh, MySQL server uh, if you have a one particular IP then give the IP username or password I have no password authentication so just click on connect okay successfully now select the database which you want to convert in MS SQL okay now click on start button and yes it's take a uh, few minutes or uh, hours maybe depends on your database key how long your database is so okay this is the error here generation error uh, few uh, foreign keys are not converted uh, from mysql to ms sql because uh, my mysql database is not properly defined 
or the, the script of my uh, mysql server which we uh, used to create a mysql database is not correctly defined or properly defined so this is the error of uh, foreign keys but our database of mysql converted into ms sql properly uh, and the whole data of mysql server copied into ms sql so let's uh, see the database of ms sql so here is the tables uh, okay i got the tables cities countries and the regions okay so i'm going to select all the rows 1000 rows firstly so okay here is the data i create the blank database here but uh, now i have a few rows here okay let's see the here is 7600 rows in the country city and the country table and here is also 7600 so whole data of the country table is successfully copied so i hope this video will help you to convert your mysql database into mssql database so thank you thank you for watching my videos subscribe me bye bye take care